Again, I have prepared something that I will now paste in. First part, we need a URL object. Yes, Java net URL. And then in the start object, we just want to initialize that. And in the start method, we just want to initialize that URL with localhost port 10,080. That's OK. Within get values, you're most likely to do um, always the same. You get a set of measurement schedule requests in. These are the metrics that are due to be taken now. You don't need to do any scheduling of your own on when to take the metrics. That's the, the agent doing for you. You just get a list of metrics that you want to take now. You um, look at this, identify the metric, take the values and return them. So here we have loop over those requests. If request.getName equals the one that you have provided in the plugin descriptor, do something. And here it's simple. We start the connection, um, take the current time, actually go then and c connect to the remote server. When this is done, we take the time again, compute the difference, wrap that in a so-called measurement data numeric object, and then add it to this measurement report that is then later on sent back to the server. So we are all now done with our component class. Let's go back to the command line, compile the thing and test it. Again, maven install to compile. Okay, this is done. So I'm now switching to our standalone container. This standalone container is, as I said before, basically an RHQ agent that we start in a special way. Um, one tip when using that is that in the plugins directory of the agent, you only want to have the platform plugin because you need that, otherwise things won't work, and the plugin that you want to test with it. If it depends on other plugins, you always uh, also need those, of course, but you don't want to have the full um, set of RHQ plugins because um, the container loads them at startup and it just startup takes longer when you have all them in the, the directory. So I'm copying the other one over now that we have built. Okay, and now I can start it with bin slash standalone.sh. This um, is now loading the plugins, as you can see here on screen. And now it has the ready prompt. And when we do a resource command, it shows, okay, it has already identified my platform that I'm running the container on. And now I can run a discovery for servers. And this discovery it indeed found our demo server. So I'm now going to use that resource for our future work. So I do a set command with the resource ID of minus three that was identified. And now we'll, as we only have the monitoring functionality implemented, I'm just taking this one met metric. So M for monitor, the next M for measurement, and then we need to pass in the metric name. It was dummy metric. In our case, this is now going out to the plugin and running our code. And you see it has come back and it took a little more than a second for this HTTP request to succeed. We can just run that again. We have command line history here. And this time it took a little less than a second. Actually, it's possible to record the command line history, write it out to a file, and call the standalone container with this file as argument. So you can repeatedly go in a cycle of writing the plugin, testing it here on the command line, visually identifying if the uh, results are correct, and modifying it, and have, you have a very short round trip times to do that. So that's pretty cool. 
And just for completeness sake, we have a help command in it that shows all those commands that look a little cryptic now when I show them. OK, so our plugin is now ready to be deployed in the real RHQ server. So I'm going to switch over to the UI. And here on the UI of the RHQ server, we have this administration, administration menu. We go to System Configuration, Plugins. So go down, scroll down, go to Upload Plugin, press the Add button, which brings up a file browser. Actually, there's also a way to just copy it on the command line over into the right directory, which is more appealing when you are developing. This UI is, is really used for sort of the end user when you get a plugin from somewhere and you don't want to do all these magic Unix um, things. So we're now going back to the dashboard. And on the dashboard and uh, in the top, you have this auto discovery portlet. And here on the auto discovery portlet, you see our demo name server of type demo key or with identity demo key. We import that into the system. This takes a moment. And now, OK, this is done. We can go to the server section of the resource browser. Here, demo name, you see it in there. It still has an unknown availability because also that takes a little bit uh, before it's computed, sort of. And when we go to that, we just click on demo name, you end up in the summary page that is basically a dashboard for this specific resource. You see it in the left nav tree with the demo name just as a server under our platform, SNERD. And when we go to the monitor tab, this is actually not the, the data view that you know, but this is an experimental branch again where I have exchanged the, the usual graphs with one by J free chart. So you are top notch here in this presentation. Let's go to schedules and see how often metrics are taken. By default, collection interval for servers, we have not specified that on the plugin descriptor, is five minutes. We don't want to wait that long now. So I select this metric and say, OK, collection interval of one minute, set. You see now it's at one minute, it's enabled. So it's only a matter of time to, until we see some data coming in. So, OK, now I've switched to the tabular view. And you see here now the metrics coming in. We have minimum, maximum, average value from what is taken. And when you go to the graph, you see um, the graph going on with, a, in this case, eight, the last eight hours. That's a bit bad for what we have done, because we're just running for a few minutes now. So let's switch over to a different display. Let's go for the la last 60 minutes. And now you really see the individual values that we have taken every minute. So that's it. You could now go in and define an alert when taking the metric is slow again or something like else. But that's the part you have seen. Writing a, a plugin is very easy. You go in for the start, use the skeleton generator to produce a skeleton of your plugin. You can directly answer questions about which facet you want to implement. The generator is creating the parts of the, of the deployment descriptor that you need, as well as the stubbed out Java code. You file it up in your IDE. You fill in the missing pieces, which are most of the time marked with to-do text, so you really easily find them. When this is done, you compile it. You can test it either directly in the RHQ server, of course, or you can find up the standalone container, which allows for very quick round times. Thanks for listening.